Well, good morning and welcome back to City Line. I have with me three wonderful human beings that are here to talk about the Nisqually Watershed Festival. And if you have not been out to see this, it is it should be like one of the top wonders of Washington State. I'm sure it's listed there someplace. So let's find out about it. Please join me in welcoming Mr. David True. You are a park ranger, I love that, but also the volunteer coordinator for this mm -hmm. festival. Welcome to City Line. Thank you very much for having us. Great to have you, and you are new to City Line. I am. Um, these two are repeat offenders, so thanks for being <laughs> on the com comfy couch. Um, Emily McCartan, you are the Nisqually River, um, what's the C stand for again? The Council. Squ Council, yeah. there we go, sorry. A program coordinator. Welcome back, my dear. Thanks for having me. And shout out to the person who made the necklace. The necklace is just <laughs> off the hook. It's wonderful. I'm going to send her the segment. Well, there we go. <laughs> and Mr. Daniel Hall, you are the executive director of Nisqually Reach Nature Center. Welcome back. It's good to be back. Good to have nice you. You still got that cool vest. I'm liking this. How many vests do you have? Uh, at the Nature Center, we have about 18. There we go. Yeah. Just kind of, you just kind of, you know, redo yeah. them, don't you? You represent... You know, yeah, yeah. There we go. I love that. So, look quickly. Let's find out for people who don't know, uh, Mr. David, what is mm -hmm. the Nisqually Watershed Festival? This is our 30th annual watershed festival. 30th. And, and we're wow. Isn't that amazing. Yeah, it is. And we're celebrating the Nisqually River. We're celebrating the the U.S. Refuge System here at Fish and Wildlife and the Nisqually National Wildlife Refuge, and all the wonderful groups that are part of it, uh, part of this festival as well. And we hope that you can come as well. We want everyone to come as possible to our wonderful refuge and enjoy your public lands and enjoy the wonderful things that we're going to have at this event. And these pictures are outstanding. These pictures are obviously from the previous years. There is something for everybody at this festival. I mean, there, you, is. you, you, there isn't anything that you haven't touched on that somebody would have an interest in, at least one thing. And we were talking about the food, and we'll get to that in just a second. Emily, when we think about um, this event, we want to ask some questions for people who are not familiar with it. So first off, what is a watershed, and what's the significance of the Nisqually watershed in our region? Geographically speaking, a watershed is all uh, is the land area that's drained by a river system. Okay. So if you a great way to visualize it is if you hold your hands in a cup like okay. this. Yeah. And you can see you've got sort of a ridge line here right. and a ridge line here, high points, and then you've got a valley, a low point in the middle. Okay. If you think about holding those hands under a shower. Right. And all the water that would collect in it. Okay. And it's all where's it all going to run? Oh. It's all going to run right down the middle and then out the low point at the end. So our watershed, the Nisqually, starts at the Nisqually Glacier on Mount Rainier, and it runs 78 miles to the estuary, which is at the Nisqually Wildlife Refuge um, that drains into Puget Sound. And it's wonderful. Uh, it's beautifully preserved habitat for salmon, for lots of other wildlife. It's also a place that millions of people come to enjoy the natural world every year. So it's a really special place, and this is our chance once a year to get everybody together and celebrate it all. That is the best explanation I have heard in the years I've been <laughs> in this seat. That I don't know who, that. who thought of this, but I will always remember that. And now I'm thinking, man, that water must taste really good. It's great water. Coming off that glacier. <laughs> How did the festival get started, Daniel? So once again, 30 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. I always like to say it's a story about caring people um, that that got together uh, and and made things happen, made change happen. Uh, how do you get people to do anything? You, you get them together. You get together for a cause. Yes. And uh, the Nisqually Estuary, a combination of that fresh and salt water coming off the watershed, very special place. In 1974, a refuge was created, uh, and people were like, "How do we keep this momentum going?" It started way before that. I mean, there's been people here for generations yes. upon generations upon generations. Seeing that story, making that story go forward, that's what we really want to be able to do. Starting this festival is one of the things that happened 30 years ago, but it grows each year. Absolutely. And it grows because, well, we come on City Line and we talk. To <laughs> <laughs> but you do so much more education year round. Mm -hmm. How long have each of you uh, been involved in this event? And let's talk about more in depth what are your roles. So why don't you go first? Well, I, this is my first year here. I oh, started I love here that. in November. First rodeo. Yeah, this is my first rodeo here. So it's kind of, I'm kind of learning from them a little bit on what and how this event has gone in the past. Uh, I've 
been a park ranger uh, though for about seven, eight years for a variety of different agencies, including the park service and and uh, working as a volunteer coordinator now, which is really important for what we're doing because we rely yes. on volunteers for a lot of the activities and, and other things that we're involved with with this. So I'm pretty busy right now with all the work that I'm doing. And uh, this watershed event, I've, I've never been a part of a watershed event like this anywhere else. So this is quite unique. And I think it's one of the best things we do in this region. It's, it's the gold standard. Yeah, and really speaking is. of that, do we still need volunteers? We need volunteers. Okay, there it is. That's yeah, the so shout out. Give, give us a call. Volunteers. Um, uh, volunteers. Uh, we have a lot of volunteers that are dedicated to come here every year and are involved with us. But I would say I have about 50 volunteers involved right now. I'd like to get another 50 volunteers. All right. So. You heard it here. All right. Emily, what's your role in this? Uh, so I'm the staff to the Nisqually River Council, which is the group of all of the government and uh, citizen and community members that participate in keeping the watershed healthy and sustainable. Um, and so they've been a supporter of the festival since the very beginning. And uh, this will be my third year. Wow. Working with them. Fabulous. And you, my dear, you're going to say you do it all because you do as the executive director. Uh, so the Nature Center has been in existence since 1981, uh, but uh, I came into the Nature Center in 2000, and by 2002, I was just kind of ingrained into what was happening to Squally. Uh, and I've seen this festival grow a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it's and, and new people are coming in, new energies are, 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 are developing. And, and it grows each year. And, you know, the restoration that's happened there, so many things. It's yes. just, it's exciting. It mm. is exciting. Yeah. Emily, what other organizations are involved in planning this? Because it does take a village. It does. We have six major sponsors of the of the event. So uh, the Nisqually Reach Nature Center, the Nisqually River Council, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, uh, the Nisqually Indian Tribe, Tacoma Public Utility, and uh the Friends of the Nisqually National Wildlife. Heavy Wildlife. hitters. Yeah. Wow. I would love to be a fly on the wall at those conversations. The meetings are real fun. Movers are always great snacks. They are fun. <laughs> Movers and shakers. So um, this we've talked about this is the 30th anniversary and the significance that it holds for, for this group, Daniel. Um, let's talk about um, some of the logistics of the event, the, the event, David. How do people get there? Costs, everything. Give us the 411. Well, basically, uh, if you're going to come to our event, uh, the refuge itself is located at 100 Brown Farm Road uh, in Olympia, Washington. It's off exit 114. However, for this event, we're going to have you park at River Ridge High School. Okay. River Ridge High School is going to be at um, uh, 350 River Ridge High School Drive, and um, we'll have free shuttles coming every 15 nice. minutes. Uh, so. Feel free to park there. We'll get you over there. Um, I'm not sure what the... The festival's free. That's what I thought, yeah. Um, they'll be free yeah. available for purchase, but all of the events and activities are free. And I, I wanted to bring that up because the refuge is $3 to go in when we're not having the festival. Right. Uh, but, uh, but with the festival, it's an opportunity for your family and your friends to come out here and enjoy what the refuge has to offer. Absolutely. So for, question for all three of you. Uh, what are some of the main ideas or feelings you want people to walk away from when they're at this event? Uh, it's a theme that I say all the time, a sense of community. Yes. You know, I mean, uh, like you're connected, the environment matters, how do we connect with it, um, and feeling happy, you know. Yeah. Really. Mm -hmm. I love that. What about you, Emily? I love it when people come away feeling like they got to explore a corner of the natural world that they didn't know about. They get may, might get to take home a salmon print t-shirt that they can wear all year. Or eat um, salmon. They might get to, yeah, come home with their belly full of salmon. Uh, it's just a great chance to kind of reflect on all of the things that make up the watershed and bring a little piece of it back with you. Well said. What about you, my friend? I, to me, it's one of the great, wonderful things for the public to go visit their public lands. Yeah. Go visit a national wildlife refuge and to go explore and learn what we're about and what we do and, and what we're doing for the people because technically these lands belong to you. They do. Who do we need to thank? Who do we need to thank? Well, obviously all the partners that work yes. so hard uh, to put this together. Uh, there's many meetings. Our meetings are fun, you know. So I we, bet they are. Uh, we've a got a dynamic cast them. that comes together. <laughs> um, but I'd also like to thank the people that came before us. Oh, there um, you, you know, it's really important to recognize that beautiful places exist because people before us stood up and did something. Mm 
-hmm. and, and it's kind of our charge now to kind of carry that forward and spread that message. So the thank you goes out to the folks before us, the folks that are doing good work right now, and the folks that are going to be doing good work. The folks that are going to be visiting and helping us at the festival, and obviously our volunteers, which yes. was pointed out too. Yeah, so big time. our volunteers mm -hmm. are so special and the here and now. They're amazing. I bet. So last question here: uh, Who should attend this event? Everybody. There we go. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. All ages. There's All something ages. for for whoever you are, whatever age you are. There's something for you there. I love that. And obviously, you always have an open invitation. Thank you. Thank we you hope you can come out and visit us sometime. Well, mm. I hope I will too, and I promise when I do come out, I'll let you know ahead of time so you can like get extra salmon because this That's woman right. can eat. Okay, that's all there is to it. Sam, Sam, we'll roll delicious. out the salmon-colored carpet. Okay, good. Absolutely. Thank you so much for all that you have done for your whole team, for those that we couldn't fit on the couch, and uh, I wish you a uh, very successful event with great weather as well. Thank uh, you. Yes. That's, always, that's always a plus. <laughs> it is. Yeah. When we come back in the seats, we will have sound outreach. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back after this quick break.